What if Chainsaw Man's small details didn't exist? Well, before I answer that, why don't I talk about how the small details make Chainsaw Man a cinematic masterpiece? And that's because they make Chainsaw Man feel realistic. Yes, I believe that Chainsaw Man is realistic than every other anime out there. And it's because of the small details. And also one big reason is because it's only 12 episodes. If it was a 24 episode season like every other anime, then Chainsaw Man would be... Mid. Absolutely mid. But since it's 12 episodes, maybe put in extreme effort into each episode and just add in detail after detail to the point where the small details are what makes the anime feel like it's not an anime. None of the fu- From ambient noise to just details, to lighting, to voice acting. Voice acting? But that's not a small detail. Well, yeah, but no. I still want to talk about it because it's different. And I like it. I like it that much that I'm gonna talk about the ambient noise. How often do you hear background music in Chainsaw Man? Not often, but when it plays, it goes hard and it fits well with what Mapper are trying to show us. <laughs> but what does this have to do with ambient noise? Well, when we aren't having any background music, we get ambience. Well made ambience noise that feels so realistic. Take a look at this scene for example. So we're in a hospital after the fight with the bat and leech devil. No music, just ambience. It does not need music. They don't want to make it more emotional, they want it to feel realistic. What is it like when you're in a hospital? Is it filled with background music? Nah, I don't think so. It's like this. Close your eyes. You can hear the cars outside, air conditioning, doors to other rooms opening, equipment being placed down outside the room, other people speaking in the halls, helicopters landing on the hospital. You can hear all of this when you're in a hospital. You can open your eyes now. All of that sounded natural, right? In other anime, it would just be the beeping from the machines. With some soundtrack in the background. But Chainsaw Man doesn't need music for every scene. It can work perfectly fine with ambience. You probably didn't even realize that there is this much ambience noise in the show because it just works way too well. Sorry, I'm, I'm ready for it. I want Pepsi. I'm ready for it. I'm sorry. I re like, I, I'm starting to get a bit of a mucusy throat, and that means I might be getting sick. And I usually get a summer cold, so I'm going to do the right thing by drinking Pepsi instead of water. Anyways, where was I? Details. <coughs> that really hurt that shit. <coughs> Going deep. Hurts the throat, who knew? You can see that in every shot of the anime, there was more thought put into the tiny details throughout the show. Like for example, in the final episode on top of the train, they did not need to add that many power lines and poles and all that jizz jazz, but they did. And it looks too good. My throat still hurts from before, I don't know why I did that. Mappa adds in them extra details to make it look more realistic. But like, nah, they must have done some funky stuff to this scene. Because each building that goes past is different. They all got their own markings, designs, and all that jizz jazz. Like, wow, absolutely astonishing. I already know that Mappa was aiming for making Chainsaw Man realistic, but they seriously just pushed the boundaries of what they can achieve even further away. Away. It's like that throughout the entire show, and I love it. The attention to detail that has been put into it is just the best I have ever seen. Hands down the best. But do you know what else makes the background details look even better? The lighting. Come on, come on, come on. We all know the lighting is good in this, but did you know it was this good? Wait, what happened? What do you mean what happened? Look at the eyes. The small details that get implemented into the lighting just makes it that much better. Like, oh yeah, so much better. No, but seriously, like, if you look at the eyes, like, they actually change in the light, and that's absolutely phenomenal. 
Another great example of the lighting is in episode 7 with Hamino and Aki in the diner. The natural light coming in from outside is gleaming through the massive window. The shadows emitting from the window frames and the chairs are all consistent. The way the shadows go around their food bowls has curvature. The way how the colours from the table and chairs are bouncing off onto the roof so there's some red smears up there. Wow. And the way that the buildings outside are also getting affected by the light. All of this in one shot. Like what the fuck? How? Why? Huh? It's just insane how much time got put into the lighting. It's just consistently phenomenal throughout the entire show and I'm like wow. But you know what else is consistently phenomenal throughout the entire show? The voice acting. They did this thing where they were like nah 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 sound real. Because goddamn, they don't sound like anime characters to me, they sound like humans. Which is terrifying when you hear the screaming from the background characters when the devils are around. It's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. It's not the classic anime voice acting, it's a real human being echoing their fear into us when they are scared for their life. And this right here is my favourite voice acting scene in the entire show. Feel the fear. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Mappa got inside everyone's heads, turned off their anime filter for when it came to the voice acting because it's just too realistic and it's scary. But it's great. But because of the voice acting sounding realistic, I believe that that is going to make this anime become the go-to anime for noobs. Because these noobs will feel connected to the characters for how realistic they sound and act. And then they're going to die. God damn, I love the small details. But the reason why I believe they are so good is because Mappa only worked on 12 episodes instead of it being 24 episodes. So if my math is correct, that means twice the amount of effort was able to be put into each episode. And I seriously believe that because of them putting more effort into the small details, that Chainsaw Man has become a cinematic masterpiece that feels more realistic than any other anime that I have watched. The dust particles that are leaking through gaps, the clouds that are moving in the sky, the people on the street who are actually moving, the details on the faces when it's a close-up, the scuffs and scratches on the metal of the elevator, the breath coming from Denji when he's against the Bat Devil. All of these have been put into the show by amazing workers who have made it so much more realistic with their time and dedication. So that's the answer for the question. What if Chainsaw Man's small details didn't exist? It would be mid. Absolutely mid. Like astonishingly mid. And because of that, it makes me want to have animes be at 12 episodes each season. It's just so they could put more effort into each episode and just make it feel so more realistic. But nah, that would never happen. But next time you see small details on an anime, just remember that someone's hard work and dedication made that shot just that little bit much better, so you can have a better experience. Have a great day. Peace.